the rape continues amongst the cursed people, black Africans. This is an update on the outer darkness. This is Cardinal Adam Wimmer of Africa with the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Article quote, 125 women and girls had been raped, whipped, and clubbed over 10 days. Now I want to be entirely clear as we go over this article that this is not the narrative that we're hearing about in America where um, numerous women are claiming to be raped by men, but it usually turns out to be for financial gains. These women in Africa are being taken by force against their will. At scene of South Sudan mass rape, no one could hear me. Meow Du South Sudan, wrapping an arm around her stomach, the young woman hung her head and recounted the day in early November when she and a friend were bound, dragged into a bush, and raped by four men with guns. There's a quote by her. She said, my body hasn't been the same since, the 18-year-old said. The men attacked during an hours-long walk home to the South Sudan village in Nialdiu. I was crying and screaming, but I was far from the village that no one could hear me. She told the Associated Press, which doesn't identify survivors of sexual assault. Shock and outrage followed when the medical charity Doctors Without Borders announced that 125 women and girls had been raped whipped and clubbed over 10 days last month in a dramatic spike in sexual violence. Horrific, the United Nations Secretary General said. They were attacked as they made the long walk to a food distribution site in Bintiu in Unity State. In an exclusive look at the aftermath, the AP joined a UN peacekeeping patrol where the attacks occurred as humanitarians right groups and South Sudan's government scrambled to find out more. Now, rape has been used widely as a weapon in South Sudan, even after a peace deal was signed in September to end a five-year civil war that killed nearly 400,000 people. Humanitarians have warned of higher rates of sexual assault as growing numbers of desperate people try to reach aid. While some aid groups, some aid groups have quietly questioned whether all 125 people in the doctors with the borders report were raped, they do not dispute that the problem has become grave. And here's the kicker: it says the 18-year-old was not even included in that report, so I don't even see how the numbers could be accurate. And these people really aren't doing anything about it. There's no way you can hear, constantly hear, that numerous people are being raped and not find a solution for that. There's no reason that even 125 people should have been raped. And this leads to where we come back to all the time. A righteous leader must take the reins. And so... Christ is here. We need people to share this information. We need you guys to be ready for what is about to happen. I don't know if you have read Sister Kelly's article, but fast approaching, which should be here anytime soon. Comet 46P Wirtenens. Green glow is already twice as bright as a full moon. I know we're not claiming that this will hit, but there is a prophecy near Christmas of something taking place. So you guys need to check out this article. You guys need to share this information. Join the congregation of Lord Rael Africa or the International Congregation of Lord Rael. You can find either of those here. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Uh, we seek and hope that you guys have a better life, but for those who reject the Messiah, it is clearly stated in the Holy Bible that God's constant wrath remains on them. So 
please share this information. I look forward to hearing from you guys again. Till next time, this is Cardinal Adam Wimmer of Africa with the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Be well.